Hi everyone, I am Kenichi Omichi from NEC. Today, we have a panel discussion for challenges, benefits, and fun of open source contribution. First of all, I'd like to introduce the overview of open source contributions from NEC. We NEC have contributed to the open source ecosystem over 20 years, like Kubernetes, Linux, Hyperledger, OpenStack, and so on. For example, this left side table shows contributions of Kubernetes 1.18 development and NEC is ninth in this ranking table. In addition, this right side of the table shows contributions of OpenStack version Victoria, which is the latest OpenStack version, and NEC is fifth in this ranking table. So we have a lot of experience to contribute to open source communities. Today, we are gather open source contributors from different open source communities and discuss what's the challenges, benefit, and fun of open source contributions. Uh, here is today panel discussion panelist from NEC. First, Motoki-san, can you introduce yourself? Hi, uh, my name is Akito Motoki. I'm working on uh, open source, open stack, uh, open source based cloud software for 10 years, almost from its beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I serve as a core developer of several projects, including uh, neutral networking project, and the Horizon GI project. Uh, I had a chance to serve as a project tec technical lead in Horizon last year. Uh, in addition to uh, as an upstream developer, I also have experiences on the uh, OpenStack cloud operator and a cloud architect of deployment project. This mixed experience motivates me a lot. I'm happy to be here. Thanks. Thank you, Motoki-san. Um, Masa, next, please. Hello, everyone. My name is Kansiaman. I work as cloud consultant in East India. I work in OpenStack community for around like six years in upstream and previous before upstream things like around one on two years uh, on the support side. In OpenStack, uh, I'm technical committee member uh, since I think two years. And I also served as a QA PTL for two years. Also a core member in NOAA, QA and various other projects. My main focus uh, in OpenStack along with technical membership responsibility is quality assurance and the API stability. And having a, such a good community motivate me to contribute more and more in that. And thanks for having me here. Thank you, Masa. So next, uh, Horikusi-san, please. Yes, uh, thank you for the invitation. Uh, I'm now Horikuchi, a senior software engineer working for NEC Solution Innovators. Uh, I'm living in Tokyo. Uh, I'm working for more than 10 years with OSS community. I'm joining uh, two, two major uh, OSS community. One is a Linux kernel community uh, since 2009, and a Hyperledger community uh, since 2016. Uh, in Linux kernel community, uh, I have a role of kernel mentor. Uh, I'm the, uh, one of the subsystem mentor of memory management system. Mm -hmm. uh, my responsibility is to maintain uh, memory error handling code. Mm -hmm. I'm usually writing patches and reviewing, testing, discussing of submitted patches. Uh, and sometimes I contribute to memory optimization features like mm -hmm. huge page and memory compaction, vegetable processing. Uh, in a hyperledger community, uh, I also done some uh, some patch contribution on hyperledger fabric and related to tools. And I have a new contribution. Uh, I, I, and I have a few contribution on translating fabric document to Japanese. So my uh, my uh, main focus on uh, hyperledger community is to develop and uh, implement uh, mean BFT uh, consensus algorithm. Consensus algorithm uh, with Byzantine full tolerance. 
And this project is running as a hyperledger lab project. That's an experimental small project and hyperledger. Uh, nice to meet you. Thank you, Mutu-san. Uh, next, um, Muto-san, please. Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Shu Muto. I'm working on platform solution division in solution, uh, in Ishii solution innovators. Uh, since 2015, I have started to contribute to OpenStack uh, dashboard and several related projects. Uh, I had created some plugin projects for dashboard and maintained them. <clears throat> then since uh, 2018, I uh, started to contribute to Kubernetes dashboard and became one of maintainers for it. Uh, also, we run Kubernetes upstream training at some community events in Japan. Thank you. Thank you, Muto-san. Uh, next, Mori-san, please. Hi, uh, I'm Yuiko Mori. Uh, from NEC Solution Innovators, and uh, uh, I'm uh, working for Kubernetes for about one year. And uh, previously, I was working for OpenStack for about two, three, or four years. I I forgot. Sorry. Yep. Thank you. That's all. Thank you, uh, Mori-san. Uh, uh, last, uh, I today I'm run as a uh, Moderator, and I am Kenichi Omichi from NEC also, and uh, I am uh, developing Kubernetes and uh, the development tool Kubespray in the community, and uh, I worked for OpenStack also before, and uh, maybe ten or more years ago, I worked for Linux kernel, uh, which is a crash dump tool, and uh, today. Uh, so we we will have uh, some discussion in this member. Let's get started. So uh, first topic is what's the most hard or difficult challenge of open stack open source contribution. So first of all, uh, I'd like to ask this question to Motoki san. Can, do you have any idea related to the most difficult thing in, for open source contribution? Yeah, um, I see, I seen a uh, several uh, challenging point um, in open source contribution. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, first thing I see is uh, uh, open source culture. Mm -hmm. um, the next one is uh, communi uh, communication in technical technically. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in my personal experience, uh, I didn't have difficulty in these areas. Uh, lucky, yeah, it is lucky enough. Mm -hmm. uh, another uh, the other point uh, I see is uh, language and time zones. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a native English speaker and I had no chance to use English regularly before joining the community. Mm -hmm. So it was a big challenge to me. Uh, another thing is uh, a time zone. Uh, I live in Japan, most communication happened in US or a European time zone when I joined the community. So uh, I see these uh, challenges. That difficulty comes from OpenStack, right? Yeah, uh, it's uh, my experience from mm -hmm. OpenStack, but uh, I think uh, uh, it is common in open, many open source projects. Okay, so I'd like to this question to Horiguchi-san. So you you have a uh, two you have a two you have joined the two community Linux and Hyperledger. Yeah. So do you have do you face this kind of issue or difficulty? Yes, uh, first difficult is uh, finding time. Mm. So before starting contributing Hyperledger community, I was a full-time contributor for mm. the Xcanner, but I'm not now because I have joined two, two communities and mm. some roles on Hyperledger community and as an internal project. So I'm just living 
getting busier. Mm-hmm. And I have uh, I have to spend time and effort to complete some meaningful work. But sometimes hard to because it's lack of time. Mm-hmm. So I'm feeling that uh, task management and information sharing is critical mm-hmm. to work on it. And okay. uh, another uh, difficulty is uh, complexity. So Linux kernel is also uh, that's a very big and complicated project. And Hyperledger is also rapidly growing and becoming complicated. So my feeling is that so the problem I try to solve is getting harder and harder. Mm. So, that, so it used to be years ago. So improving some tools and automated testing is very important, mm. I think. So, so this is too uh, difficult for me. Yeah. Mm. Yes, that's, that's wrong. That's, uh, that seems like uh, technical difficulty, not not cultural difficulty. Or uh, you don't face, uh, you didn't face some actually both, sort of communication both. issue. Mm, yes. So oh. these two communities are very uh, different culture and mm-hmm. using different tools. Mm-hmm. So, for example, Linux kind of still using mailing list to discussion. Oh, but okay. uh, Hyperledger using a GitHub or CI mm-hmm. or every so, I so see. modern feature, modern 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 technologies for mm-hmm. development. So ah. very difficult, uh, di- different. Different. Okay. Okay. The same so, is Linux mm-hmm. kernel itself developed with old fashioned way with email. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yes. see. Okay. Thank you. So. How, how about uh, Morisa? Do you have any? Do you face some difficulty to join open source community? Uh, uh, what I feel difficult is um, uh, basically open source developers are contributing as a volunteer, right? Mm-hmm. So that uh, uh, usually, uh, in usual, our working is. Uh, there is a fixed schedule, right? Mm. So that uh, we must finish one thing by the fixed schedule. Mm. So that, uh, um, right? But yeah. uh, other members in other uh, company is um, doesn't have this schedule, right? Mm. So that. Um, we cannot finish our uh, work um, until fixed schedule. So that uh, a few years ago, I I was working for OpenStack and uh, I was developing uh, one feature. Then uh, it was uh, a little bit uh, important for our company. Mm-hmm. So that uh, I promised with uh, my boss, I will. Mm-hmm. Uh, implement this feature in this uh, life cycle, but uh, we couldn't uh, finish it uh, until this uh, in the cycle. Mm. Then uh, I was a, a little bit uh, uh, I've got uh, uh, scold, scolded by my boss. So mm. that uh, what I learned from this is uh, I cannot promise with my boss. Yeah, I can finish it uh, the, until this schedule. Mm. Yeah, that's all. Okay, I see. So, so we we are we are working both both things. So one is an open source community, and another is a company. And uh, yeah, right. those companies are so different. And uh, in the mm-hmm. company, in our company, we have uh, some concrete schedule for development. Mm-hmm. But uh, it is yeah. it is difficult to make a consensus to make yeah, some that, that's right. schedule. That's right. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. Okay, so Mansa, uh, you you are running as a TC, the technical member in OpenStack, and. Uh, so you you have some idea or uh, something to uh, collaborate uh, with many people from different companies. So uh, so how to solve this kind of thing in the technical committee? 
Yeah, I think that's a very important point from open source point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, like in terms of the, uh, because in open source, any project, you don't have a defined team, defined mm -hmm. number of contributors. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have very large number of contributors in your project. Sometimes you have very fewer contributors. Mm -hmm. So, and both has the, their own drawback because if you have a very large number of contributor, it's very difficult to get the consensus. <laughs> it may take time to get the final decision on what the design or implementation should be. And if you have a less or fewer contributor, as Maurice mentioned, you don't find uh, enough developers to review your code, mm -hmm. or you don't find like experts to review your code and merge. Mm -hmm. So that's the, uh, one of the big things in that, like you, you cannot, uh, uh, like promise or you cannot define the exact uh, thing that lies to be merged in open mm. source thing. The one thing, uh, one way to overcome is like uh, in open source it is like give and take things. So you review others code, they review your code. So you need to spend also like more time on getting other things, other code merged, uh, have the collaboration with them, have a good relationship, trust, building the trust there. So that whenever the features or code you are proposing, mm -hmm. that can get the good review mm. and uh, within that cycle time zone. Okay. From technical committee perspective, it is difficult to like force any technical decision on project mm -hmm. side because all the technical debates, what feature has to be merged on what time is all project specific decisions. So technical committee try to check the health check of each project in OpenStack. Mm -hmm. If there are very less contributor in any project, features are not getting merged. So that time we try to help them. We try to publish that issue in the mailing list, mm -hmm. newsletter, so that other developers can come in and help there. So uh -huh. that way, at some extent, we can solve it. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you you are uh, you are fa we are facing some less contributors, you are sending the email to get more uh, volunteer from different project or something. That is uh, yeah, especially for, especially from the users. Mm -hmm. If uh, any of the company has or using that project in their solution or in their product, so they can at least check. Okay, there are some less contributor things happening in this project. There are no maintainer in this project. For example, last couple of cycle, we are getting one or two project having no maintainer. So we publish it as a retirement of that project. Mm. So that is a good indication or notification to the users. Okay, oh. if you are like making money of this project, using that project in your product, it's the time you have to come up and help mm. in upstream contribution. I see. I see. Thank you, Mansa. So uh, how about uh, Muto-san? Do you have uh, any, do you, did you face any issue for joining the open source committee? Uh, <clears throat> English conversation is uh, difficult, most difficult things for me. Uh, my TOEIC score was around 400 or <laughs> so uh, it's very hard to uh, communicate in English uh, and I tended to fear about foreigners mm -hmm. uh, who talks uh, English fluently uh, but I found the most contributors are uh, volunteer uh, at OSS community so uh, I found they are very very kind humans so uh, I don't need to fear about uh, communicating with them. Uh, mm. That um, difficulty is, is the English conversation, but mm. it's not so <coughs> fear, uh, fearful of uh, things. <coughs> and uh, okay. uh, at first, uh, uh, I found uh, the Asian contributors uh, who use easier English, <laughs> like me, uh, mm. uh, such uh, Chinese or Korean mm. uh, contributors, mm. they look similar to Japanese. So mm. uh, 
uh, I don't have to be uh, so nervous. Uh, mm. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I feel I feel same. Mm. Um, it is not easy to overcome uh, the language difficulty directly, but uh, I mm. think uh, it is important to be a uh, valuable contributor in the communities. Mm. Once uh, we are recognized, um, we can mitigate uh, these gaps. Uh, we are software engineers, so that we honor each other. So uh, we hear or propose our opinion with respect. Mm. That's how I felt in the community. I see. I see. So uh, one, uh, one I face difficulty is uh, how to make a consensus in the com each community. So sometimes uh, in a Linux community, uh, as for uh, example, said, we are using email for communication too. But uh, on the OpenStack, we are using IRC chat, chat tool or face-to-face uh, -face discussion in some events, technical thing for technical thing. And uh, in Kubernetes, uh, we are using uh, uh, to, uh, no, uh, uh, Slack, Slack for daily communication. Mm -hmm. And we are using uh, Zoom for weekly meeting. So that kind of thing is always hard for uh, ELSL guy, ESL guy uh, like us. So, so uh, how to uh, actually uh, my interest is how to make a consensus. What is the most important communication way for each committee? So, what is the what is the most important making decision way in Linux and the hyperledger? So in Linux, uh, most uh, technical decision is made by maintainer, mm -hmm. and uh, some community-wide big decision are well face-to-face -face conference, uh, oh. conference. So in conference, maybe voting. Some yes. Okay. And in hyperledger community, so they also use uh, Slack, uh, Rocket Chat, IRC, uh, mm -hmm. mailing list, and Jira or something. So, and uh, there is a technical steering committee. So maybe that's a uh, in con um, have uh, 15 members and they are discuss you know, discussing and uh, making making decision over community thing. Mm, I so. see. Thank you. So, but at this time we are facing uh, COVID 19 issue and it is difficult to make a face to face conference at this time. So how to how to uh, make such decision in Linux committee at this time? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe email, right? Email. Uh, email, just email. Uh, in, in, and the hyperledger community uh, also uses some uh, Zoom, Zoom meeting by, mm. by weekly, by weekly basis. Mm. Mm. I see. Thank you. So uh, how about, how about in OpenStack community? How to make big decision? In, uh, how to make a big decision? Uh, what is the most important communication tool for make a decision in OpenStack? Nansan? Yeah, so in OpenStack, we, even with the COVID thing, mm -hmm. uh, we have the PTZ called Project Team Gathering, where we do the design discussion and all. So it's happening virtually also. Mm -hmm. And um, it's um, not so much effective as it used to be in physically because you see the people and have the discussion, but at some extent, uh, we are able to conduct the uh, virtual discussions. Like within a one week, <clears throat> everyone gathers and we have the schedules for every project mm -hmm. and we discuss the design things for the next cycles. Mm -hmm. So that is the one thing. And other thing we do it uh, more uh, asynchronous way uh, like we have the specification uh, model for each project where if you have any idea or if you have any new feature proposal, so we discuss it like, okay, this is a good idea. And now let's go with the more design discussion and implementation detail. So you can uh, submit the spec and on the spec, uh, which happens in the Garrett mm -hmm. a review tool, uh, 
and there you can start discussing the design and implementation detail and mm. the consensus. I see. I see. Thank you, Mansa. So uh, the uh, time comes for finishing this topic. So uh, the dif uh, difficulty we are facing, we faced before is so one is a uh, culture gap between uh, company and uh, committee. It is make it is hard to make a concrete schedule. So we need to discuss or uh, make a, a, a get an understanding from our boss in my company, each company. And another thing is hard to uh, communicate communicate in English as a ESL ESL guy. But the community member is mostly good guy, so we don't need to feel fair here at all. So, and another thing is. Ah, sorry. <laughs> uh, so we need to make a suitable communication way for each committee. That is very important. So that is, that, uh, yeah, that is great uh, advice for us. So let's go to the next topic. So, uh, so we are, actually we are company guys. Uh, we are working for committee, but we are working for company also. So how to open source contribution work for company benefit? So I'd like to ask this question for Oligus-san first. Yeah. Do you have any idea? Yes, uh, I have some uh, for company benefit. Mm -hmm. so company sends engineers to OSS community to simply to get easy access to uh, technical and business community. So I think that a uh, clear benefit is that uh, mm. if you join OSS community, so you can directly solve your problem on mm. community. If you don't have any access to uh, OSS community, you might have to wait someone to find and solve it. Oh. That's not uh, realistic because mm. it takes long and the, the fix uh, submitted might not be uh, what you want, what you really want. So. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. and uh, another benefit is that uh, connection to OSS committee helps mm. your company improve uh, quality of service and support. Mm. Yeah, so I think that's a uh, company benefit. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, maybe uh, if we want to do something, we need to create something. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very good. Okay, do you have... Uh, any idea for this topic, uh, Muto-san? Uh, yeah, uh, for example, um, <clears throat> I think experiences in the community, uh, such as uh, using new tools or new methodologies or uh, new architectures and knowing uh, other new point of view, etc so um, finally uh, we would be able to create a new idea uh, mm. and uh, actually these experiences in in oss community are always uh, fresh for me mm. uh, and this gives me a lot of uh, good sim stimulates mm. And uh, that stimulates, uh, motivate me for next work. Mm -hmm. uh, so bringing something new or motivation back mm -hmm. to the company uh, is the value, I think. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, how, do you have any idea, Morisan? Yeah. Uh, uh... I think there are two big benefits. Uh, mm -hmm. One is uh, cost feature. Uh, so, you know, uh, we can decrease development cost by pushing a patch to upstream, not mm -hmm. having as a uh, private patch. And another big benefit for our company is about uh, security issue, right? So mm -hmm. uh, we can, uh, you know, uh, when there is a weakness in open source, for example, uh, you know, a few years ago, heart bleed occurred mm -hmm. in open SSL project, right? Mm -hmm. 
So uh, when the uh, security issue occurs in open source, if we have private patch in our company, mm. then new version will be released for uh, supporting weakness. It's difficult to um, version up to the latest one. Right. That's all. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that is very important point. So actually, open source software is growing, always growing uh, to be uh, open source is developed always, and uh, the code itself is always changing. So if we are we have some private code, it is so hard to apply those private code into the latest code of open source. Yeah, that is very important point for company people. How about, uh, do you have any idea for this topic, Motoki-san? Yeah, I think, um, um, Several topics are already covered. Uh, mm -hmm. I see uh, other two points. Uh, one, one is uh, uh, why is uh, similar to the what we discussed so far. The, uh, it is to we can bridge upstream develop and real projects. Uh, mm -hmm. We uh, upstream develop are uh, familiar with what are happening in the upstream development. So uh, we can advise the real project. Uh, 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 making uh, the real uh, direction, uh, uh, we can advise uh, direction to real project, so, and we all, we can also implement new feature and fix bug based on uh, real project needs. Hmm. Uh, it will be uh, our advantage when working with our customers. Hmm. And uh, the other point um, I see is. To, to improve the corporate branding. Mm. Uh, recently, our customer check our activities in open source communities. Mm -hmm. uh, so active involvement in the community uh, brings good uh, reputation and uh, it leads to bigger chances, I think. Mm. That's, that's what I see. Okay, uh, I see. So, uh, how, how about Mansan? Do you have any idea? Do you want to add more thing for benefit? Yeah. Benefit thing? So, yeah, along with like uh, we discussed, uh, one is like it it also help uh, avoiding the vendor lock-ins because in open source uh, there is no vendor specific things are there. So mm -hmm. you get the software where you can uh, build the product and uh, you can avoid the vendor lock-in. Mm. So that is kind of because in in current market, if you see, uh, it's a time like where people get the uh, uh, more feasibility of uh, or you can say more interoperability, not just the specific vendor specific things. Because sometimes they can move the hardware also, sometimes they can move the software also. So mm. having the such product which doesn't have any vendor lock in always help company mm. to sell their product. Mm. And um, second is like the yeah, quality side also. Uh, because in open source community, it's not just the developers, but uh, operators, provider, end users, they also participate. Mm. So they log the bug, they share their use case, they test the things and tell you like, okay, this is not working as expected in this scenario or something. So sharing these kind of uh, knowledge in open source uh, gives you the better quality product quality software which you can use in your company to make the product so mm -hmm. that that also very important uh, point in that mm -hmm. and uh, and one like uh, one of the also best thing is <clears throat> as it's already discussed like it provided a less development cost because you don't need it's not just developer but uh, like tooling development tooling infrastructure in open source it's free right so company mm -hmm. doesn't need to spend much price uh, sales or uh, the money on the development tools or infrastructure. So that is also one of the important uh, part. Yeah, right. So actually it is so hard to develop OpenStack or Kubernetes from scratch by our company. <laughs> so it, it, it is great to share the, our cost in the community and uh, it is better to implement our necessary features or quality in the community. Yeah, that is the important thing. 
So, uh, thank you. Uh, the time is coming for next topic. Uh, next topic, uh, topic is uh, what is the most fun thing of open source contribution? I'd like to ask this question for Morisan. First, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I recommend other guys okay. talk about this first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, Mansan, okay, Mansan, please. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I think the fun part, one of the best thing in, even personally, I think, is uh, you learn about the different cultures because uh, at the in in closed source, wherever you work in you know, one country, one company or it can involve more than one country developers, but in open source, you see it's more than 50, 60 countries developers you can meet, mm -hmm. you can talk to them, you can learn their culture, you travel also in some of the physical events. Mm -hmm. So that, that actually grow yourself also, not just technical thing, but mm -hmm. as a personality development also, it really helps. Mm -hmm. which is my personal experience also. Mm -hmm. And technical term, if you see, I think uh, open source is one of the best uh, opportunity for any developers because mm -hmm. you have uh, very great skilled developers across the world and you get a chance to work with them. So you can learn, continuously learn an unlimited thing from them. <laughs> That's the best thing for any developer can happen, which I, I feel. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I see. But that, that is important thing. So uh, one thing, Motoki-san said uh, you are working for both uh, company internal project or company, uh, yeah, company internal project and open source project. So then you can get, uh, you can get to know the requirement from actual project. Then you can contribute to the open source community. So, so that. Uh, Actually, uh, this kind of thing make you uh, you busy uh, uh, because you are working different time zone in the communities. But uh, maybe something you are motivated, some some fun thing motivate you to attend community always. So, what is uh, your motivation? Ah, yeah. Um, mm. I think uh, um, it is a uh, good time to implement uh, based on the real needs. Uh, uh, what I feel in the community most is uh, collaboration is a uh, uh, big thing. Mm. Um, everyone has different skill, knowledge, experience, cult and culture, and so on. Uh, so, but uh, we work for the uh, same goal mm. and um, build a software together. So, uh, we, in addition, uh, everyone has different needs. Mm. Um, so, some company has uh, like to implement some features, uh, um, but. Uh, Another company has a totally different uh, um, implement totally different things. So, um, that that's a very interesting. Yeah, we encourage uh, each other, and um, it uh, motivate me a lot. Mm. Yeah, I really I believe uh, it is a community, and uh, it is really nice. Mm. That's good. Yeah, so, um, I'm not sure I. I answered the original question. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So one one unique uh, skill Motoki san has is like he doesn't sleep. So whenever <laughs> you ping him, he reply. <laughs> so that's very good. <laughs> that is not good, good for him. <laughs> yeah, previously it worked. It <laughs> uh, I'm 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 no longer young, so. <laughs> I cannot do it now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh, Horigusa? Do you have any uh, plans? Yeah. Yes, I have a few ideas uh, from a uh, Linux kind of perspective. Mm -hmm. So my favorite thing is uh, impact on the world. Mm -hmm. So as I said, I am a 
メモリーマネジメントサブシステムエンテナー。そう。That's a core part of the kernel. So, if I contribute some code,、mm. so that's used by millions of server、mm. and devices all over the world. And that's exciting and、mm. encouraging for me.、Mm. And、uh, from a hyperledger perspective,、uh, it's just fun to me to get familiar with latest technology like、mm. Docker,、uh, gRPC,、uh, mm. consensus algorithm, and security feature like、mm. zero knowledge proof or Intel CGX, something like that.、Mm. So that's, these are very new to me, so very exciting. So interesting.、Mm. Yeah, so, oh, Horiguchi san, so, Horigu san, you are. You are still working for both committee, Linux kernel and Hyperledger, right? Both, both. Oh, great.、Yes. So,、uh, right. do, you have, uh, do, do you face some merit to, by probably collaborating both committee? No?、Uh, Technical thing? Actually, these two communities are very far, so no overlap、mm. technology. So,、mm, but、uh, some development tool, some like Git, is.、Uh, mm. Used by both com- community and、mm. OSS community. How OSS community work is similar. So、mm. I can use、uh, some knowledge from、mm. Linux kernel community to Hyperledger. I see. Thank you. So,、uh, Muto-san, Muto-san, do you have any fun thing in your experience?、Uh, for me,、uh, I already said.、Uh, Various experience is the、mm. value,、uh, and so it's also、uh, fun things.、Uh, and additionally,、uh, in a TV advertising from、uh, construction industry,、uh, they told、uh, work that remains on the maps.、Uh, I think OSS contribution is such kind of work for software developer.、Mm-hmm. And our children, children would be able to find my work on the internet、mm. as a developer and as a father.、Uh, I proud such work、uh, a little.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this year,、uh, GitHub has stored our contributions uh, at uh, Arctic uh, Island.、Mm. And、uh, we all、uh, may have an Arctic code board contributor on GitHub. Yeah. yeah.、Mm. Our, <laughs> <It's interesting>. yeah. <laughs> Our contribution <laughs> is forever. <laughs> 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 okay. So, a thousand years.、Mm. <laughs> We never be proud of <laughs> Okay, so I'm waiting for Moisan's <laughs> quick answer. <laughs> so, Moisan, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, my, <laughs> my, my fun thing is not major, a little bit minor, I think. But、mm-hmm. uh, what I feel fun is.、Uh, Open source is a, a little bit new concept, right? So、mm-hmm. that、uh, open source business strategy is not clear and、uh, very difficult to decide, right? You know, so、uh, it's a big challenge for us. And、uh, uh, we can learn other big companies' work,、uh, whole in the world, and、uh, in you no know, company, and we, we develop ourselves. Uh, can discuss open source strategy,、mm. and it's、um, usually we cannot do it in usual project. I,、uh, it's、uh, perhaps just in my case.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mine is not major f u n c t i o n So <laughs> I do. <laughs> At the end of this session, Muto san explained a Kubernetes upstream training in Japan. Muto-san, please introduce it. Okay.、Uh, we have held、uh, Kubernetes upstream training in Japan、uh, these years at、uh, Cloud Native Days Tokyo or Okinawa Open Days and Kubefest Tokyo.、Uh, 
In this training, uh, we introduce how to start contribute to uh, Kubernetes community, <coughs> such as how to sign up CLA, how to create patches, uh, how to communicate with other developers, etc. etc. Et mm. This year, after COVID-19, we held them in virtual. In details, uh, please see the links uh, in this session description. <clears throat> also, uh, we would announce for new schedule here. Uh, please check it. Thank you. Uh, that's all today. Uh, thank you so much for watching this session, and we hope you enjoy this session today. Bye. 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 Thank you.